Hey everyone, welcome back to the Road to Emmaus journey. Today we will be looking at James chapter one and a suffering that produces faith. Uh, I cannot think of a chapter more relatable to us in this current season that we find ourselves in. And this year we have experienced a mass pandemic, police brutality, rioting, quarantine, and everything in between. And my thought for us today is simple, that we will all face trials and difficulties in our Christian walk. You know, sometimes we as Christians have this idea that once we come to Christ, our lives will be filled with rainbows and sunshine. Uh, but when we look at scripture, we see that that isn't necessarily the case. You know, Paul suffered throughout the New Testament. Uh, we see that Peter experienced trials and that Christ suffered supremely for all of us. So it is foolish to assume that we will never encounter any difficult seasons. But I'm here to share with you that there is a hope. In verses two through four in James one, it says this, "'Consider it pure joy, my brothers, "'whenever you face trials of many kinds, "'because you know that the testing of your faith "'develops perseverance. "'Perseverance must finish its work "'so that you may be mature and complete "'and not lacking anything.'" Um, as strange as it may seem, one of the primary purposes of being shaken is to make our faith more unshakable. Um, I've heard it said this way, that your faith is like a muscle and it grows with exercise, right? So when your faith is being pushed to its breaking point and stretched to its limits, the result is a greater capacity to endure. The Lord wants us to grow in intimacy and dependency on Him in difficult seasons. He wants us to be able to say like the psalmist said, whom have I in heaven but you? And there's nothing on this earth that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Uh, continuing on in verses five through seven, it says, if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to him. But when he asks, he's, he must believe and not doubt, because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. That man should not think that he will receive anything from the Lord. So if you find yourself being thrown back and forth in the waves of uncertainty at the many choices before you, that is the time that you need to stop, pray, and remember that God is ultimately in control. Those with a God-centered life will trust God even in the midst of suffering. Those with a double-minded hearts will doubt his goodness. But our response in the fire reveals if we have the faith to endure. So if you are suffering in this season, know that God is inviting you to trust in his goodness, his mercy, and his strength. Thanks for joining me today.